He recently took a pay cut, but are still among the highest paid politicians in America, and they represent you. But what Michigan lawmakers have not done away with is a very generous benefit that costs you millions of dollars. Action News investigator Bill Proctor takes Michigan's lawmakers to task. These days, government officials are looking anywhere they can to save the state money, but it appears that the legislators are in no hurry to cut their highly coveted health care benefits. State workers are growing louder since Michigan Governor Rick Snyder's budget acts seem to come down on them, cuts that some state lawmakers favor. We keep hearing this, this shared sacrifice word that, you know, keeps getting kicked out, uh, kicked around. Ask just about any legislator, they are quick to remind you how all 138 of them took a pay cut. The question now is, why is it taking so long to get to the sacrifice for legislators? Well, I mean, I took a 10% cut. Their salaries went from $79,650 annually to $71,685, making them the fourth highest paid state lawmakers in the nation, behind only California, Pennsylvania, and New York. But what hasn't been touched is a little known but very big benefit. Every Michigan lawmaker who serves for at least six years gets full health care coverage at age 55. Medical, dental, and vision for themselves and their families for the rest of their lives. I don't think that's fair. Not when we have to pay for ours. Most workers in Michigan, either public or private, pay for at least a portion of their own health care. But, according to state officials, we, the taxpayers, put out about $5 million every year to cover the cost of health benefits for retired legislators. And it's a perk that, I mean, no one, especially in this day and age, des you know, deserves. It's ridiculous. As Assistant Democratic Floor Leader Diane Slavens has, for the second time in her two terms, tried to eliminate the free health care benefit for herself and her colleagues. You know, this was written back in the 50s. We now have term limits. So after six years, nobody deserves that. After all, only 17 other states provide any retirement health care benefits to legislators, but most require retired officials to pay their own premiums, just like other state employees. I first proposed getting rid of the lifetime health benefit in retirement in the House. And I've been advocating for this for years. He's a state senator now, but Rick Jones was beside himself in December of last year when the then state representative proposed killing the health care perk, but it never came to a vote. And yet we had time to take a vote on legalizing dangling dice from your car mirror. We had plenty of time to take this up. With proposed House Bill 4081, Representative Slavens is trying again to eliminate health care benefits for retired legislators. That bill has support from some of her colleagues. The governor's talking, uh, calling for shared sacrifice. We're asking everyone to sh sacrifice except ourselves. But for three months, Slavens' bill has been held up in the Oversight, Reform, and Ethics Committee. It's Rochester Republican Tom McMillan's committee. He admits that bills don't take beyond a week or two to reach the House floor. Typically, I will uh, have a bill um, and get the get both sides in, have a hearing, and and then try to pass it out the following week. So why is that not happening when it comes to a bill that cuts his benefits and that of his colleagues? Well, I mean, there's obviously various priorities. But some lawmakers, like State Representative John Swatowski, say it should be a priority over other budget cuts. Last Thursday, when the House barely passed a tax plan that shifts hundreds of millions of taxes from businesses to pensioners, Swatowski tried to amend the bill to kill the free health care life benefit. And I just don't believe that uh, the legislature in its entirety, the, the current House leadership, um, wants to get rid of this ridiculous work. McMillan supports the idea of getting rid of the health care benefits in retirement. He assures us that those benefits will go to a vote. He couldn't say, though, when it would happen. As for Slavens, she says she will make sure it gets done. Before the end of the year, is that soon enough? <laughs> no, it's not, but I have confidence that we're going to get it through. Representative McMillan's staff tells us that they will give us a heads up as soon as that bill is voted out of his committee. Of course, it still faces the higher hurdle of getting past the entire legislature. Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News. All right, Bill, thanks for that. We'll update that story as we get new information. All right.